sorry for being late, sir. You sent men to Madrid to seek Matahari. But the press already found her. As you see in the paper. Hmm. What an impudent slut. She's playing with fire, that one. She's impudent, but this could be a coincidence. There's no proof she caused Resignat's death. And the mission's failure. Witnesses saw them leaving together after her performance. I'm sure this whore had lured him into her bed and slept with him. Then she betrayed him. Rastignac was always a fool when it came to women. She seduced him and gave him to the Bosch. I'm absolutely certain of it. To her, such an idiot was a perfect prey. We should pay our respects, sir. My condolences, madame. He was a brilliant officer. France will remember this hero. I want to find this German spy. I want to interrogate her. And what about a dog asterisk? Is he in Paris? He's been busy with the journalists, but he's had no secret meetings that we know of. It wouldn't be secret if you knew. He would do anything for her. He's such a fool. <laughs> so should we send men to Paris to kill her? I think the risk would be... The risk would be great. You're right. We'll follow her, observe her, collect evidence. <clears throat> then we arrest and try her. The hall would pay for its reason. <laughs> Lieutenant! <laughs> Two arms! Vladimir Maslov, you are honored for exemplary service, and you are hereby promoted to the rank of Captain in Charge of the Infantry. It's my honor, sir. Your first command will begin immediately. I'm sorry, sir. I, I was serious about my reporting to the front. And for what reason would you do this? I don't ever want to kill one of my own people, even for the sake of a mission. And if they kill you? So be it. All right. Ready to leave for Petrograd. They will make your assignment there.
off from Nassimi haven't sent anything. Pigs. Oh, well. I will have them at my feet. <laughs> so, you have... Mm -hmm. three confessions of love with invitations to dinner, mm -hmm. and one confession with a threat of suicide. <laughs> this one is too cheap to buy a dinner. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Tired. It is quite difficult to constantly remain desirable and seductive. You know you don't have to do that with me. I know, my friend. I know. What do we have tomorrow? Uh, reception at uh, the French industrial André Citroën. i never heard about him before. No, he's a newcomer. Made his fortune manufacturing uh, weapons and ammunition for the Russians. Citroën? Mm-hmm. André Citroën. Mm -hmm. Ah. Here we are. Good evening, madam. Please allow me to express my genuine admiration. Oh, what beautiful flowers. I picked them today. They grow along our earthwork by our entrenchments. Do you fight there? Oh, oui, madame. Excusez-moi, Henri Fitchell, 110, <laughs> Infantry, Regiment, General Folk's Corps. Thank you. What the hell? She's insane. She prefers the brave kind, not the cowards in the rear. <laughs> yes, I'm reporting to Paris next week. Hmm. Your idea? I asked to return to Bruselov, but they said no. I suppose they are punishing me for something. They're detaching you to Paris. Most men would be happy for such punishment. Do you need money? No. I trust you completely with my estate. Yotar Alexievich, it's not too small for you to buy. Oh, not at all. It's, uh, it's the least I can do for your father. He and I were like brothers. Although compared to him, I am low born. Not to me you aren't, or to my father. You made your family name strong. It means a lot for me to hear you say that, Volodya. Volodya, I am old and God gave me no sons. Only a daughter. And I've always hoped that she marries you, of course. It should be to a man of character like yourself. And she loves you. You know that. Yes, I know, but... Uh... You think she's like a sister to you, but she's not your sister, and you would make a beautiful couple. You know what they say, marriage, then love. Love comes after marriage. That's how it is. I respect your love, Pyotr Alexeyevich. And Vera, too. Well, then you have to please me, right? That's how it is with us merchants. Vera would never agree. She would know that my heart was not in it. Vera would follow you to the ends of the earth. Trust me, Volodya. I know. to kiss after the engagement? Yes, we are. It's allowed, but we shouldn't. I'm... I'm so happy. I'm even scared. What is it? Are you laughing at me? No, I am. I'm 
I'm just happy to. It's decided for life now. There they are, the lovebirds. Join us inside. Everyone's waiting. They want to congratulate you. Here they are. Give them a big cheer. All right. All right then. Toast. Yes. To a long and happy life together. Cheers. 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 And to you. Martin. Martin, where are you? Martin. I hope we're not too early or too late. <laughs> I'm sure we're just on time. Here, I'll take this for you. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. Can you please take these? Yes, yes, that's it. Thank you very much. Butler! If I catch you away from your station again, you're fired. It's a nice memento. English consul will arrive soon. Keep an eye on the secretary. He works for the Austrians. Yes, sir. Hmm. Uh, any news from the Russian headquarters, Colonel? Nothing. But then, even when we do get news, it seldom makes sense. It's probably just as well. The codes they use are so simple, a child could crack them. Fortunately, procrastination wins out over ignorance. Yes, thank God indeed. So, Monsieur Citroën, I heard that you will soon be making cars like Monsieur Renault. I am. And with victory just around the corner, it's time to prepare the industry for peace. My friends, my new factory has opened today, and we are prepared to make whatever the country needs. People say that we industrialists make money on war. And yes, that is true. But if we can avoid war, I'll be a most happy engineer producing cars for every family in France. Bravo! Wonderful words. Still, if war is inevitable, I assure you that I promise I will do whatever it takes to give the soldiers of our country the most advanced weapons to ensure a perfect victory. And speaking of perfection, with us today is the one, the only, the beautiful Matahari. <laughs> Thank you. Music Thank you so please. Much. Oh, you're wonderful. May I? Excuse me. I'm sorry. My name is Pierre Lenoir. I'm your contact in Paris. Oh, perfect. We should need a reason to see each other. I'm a publisher and a journalist, so I can ask your impresario to arrange our interview. Which newspaper? Le Journal. What? <laughs> this shameless rag, full of lies. Yes, thank you. So, here's the information. The Russians are sending troops to help the French. Mm -hmm. So we need to know how many. Did they write anything about the Russian troops in the newspaper? Yes. So I should be aware of it. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. You see that lady who's speaking with the general and the colonel over there? Listen in on their conversation and report back. Colonel Ignatiev, Russian military attaché. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to meet you, Colonel. I bet you miss your country so much. Between the French and the Russian, there's this enemy land, right? I am too busy to be homesick, Madame. Of course, you're so busy. I heard that the Tsar sent um, soldiers to help France, right? To support the French troops. And, um, and your countrymen will be sent to the front lines immediately? <laughs> I can't say anything about that, madame. General Lawitsky's corps will be disposed in the training camp in Mali at first. It's so nearby. Will there be a parade? I don't know, madame. I don't know. I'm 
sure there will be a parade. I'm sure of it. You know, I really, really, really love the military man and parades. Can I get an invitation? Of course you can. And in exchange, I can perform for the officers for free? Hmm? It will be wonderful. I believe there should be no obstacles. Can you give me your word? You do. Thank you. I will tell to Gabriel to find a date for the performance. She seems very smart. Why does she play the fool? I can tell you why she's doing it. She has just offered us a free performance, and now she'll get good publicity. Good point. Yeah. An interesting woman. Ah, please. some kind of gut. Well, gentlemen, I certainly cannot complain about French ladies. We can beat the Germans! Hooray! Hooray! I love this city. Oh, good. They've already announced the charity show. Yes. Thanks to Lenoir, he advertised in the paper. Though it was perceived as overly patriotic. <laughs> That's fine. Paris is filled with patriots these days. Russians? Yes. This Lenoir, is he a friend of Elizabeth's? Absolutely. So our returning from Paris was just another favor to our Frau Doctor. Don't shout. You want somebody to overhear you? Margaret, it is dangerous here. This is a country that is at war, and if they so much as suspect... Calm down, Gabriel. Hmm? They don't suspect anything. And don't forget, they have protectors up high. Oh, they're so... Be careful, you could cut yourself. You know. No, I can't. <laughs> but who is Mother Hurry? Must be an actress. She's a dancer and a prostitute. She dances and takes a lot of clothes off. That is a few pay. more. Oh, thank you. You don't like horse. It's more like I feel sorry for them. Sorry for who? You devil, because you can't afford such women. Volodya, don't bother. I can handle it myself. Believe me, I would much rather be doing this than watching a naked woman run around on stage. Yeah, I understand. Still, the others are so excited. Like little children. Your Honor, General Lokvitsky summons you immediately. Stay here and help Father Alexander. Yes, sir. Pick up that end. Now, move it against the wall. Attention, officers. While you are here, you represent the Russian army, the Russian people, and the emperor. France will judge all Russia by your behavior. And so far, their opinion is good. Keep it that way. Your Excellency, Captain Maslov, your orders are to join us on our trip to Paris. Yes, sir. Officer Rabov, you will remain on duty here. Yes, sir. Gentlemen. The cars are waiting for us. Do we have a headcount? Lieutenant? Yes. Give it back to her. Oh, my. Oh, what a romantic you are. It's a pity you're not going. 
Don't regret too much. I will not. Captain Maslov! Sorry, aware of our affairs? He's merely guessing. You don't have to worry about anything. He's very loyal to me. He looks too nervous. He might give us away. <sighs> the Russians are bluffing. They're saying that the General Levinsky's unit, the one that parade in Paris, 
is a part of the special corps. Yes, it's all over the papers that main forces are going to arrive from France. About half a million soldiers, they say. Berlin is very concerned. There's no special corps at all. Only one brigade will be sent here, and two will be sent to Macedonia. That's it. How do you know that? I'm always surprised how talkative men can get when they want to impress a woman. And knowing the amount of officers that come to my show, it is fair to assume that only 20,000 men compose that brigade. OK. And what about their armaments? No, I'm sorry. It's not going to work. This is not what we talked about. You promised me a big article, and this is just a joke. Uh... We're never too careful. We're talking about the article, aren't we? Mm-hmm. So you will publish our interview in the next um, issue? You will see all the details with Gabriel. And about the armament, I'm thinking about questioning a certain officer that will be very, very sorry for insulting me. Mm. Yes, I read about it. I'm glad you have. Gabriel. Farewell. The surveillance has given us little information. Adahari spends a lot of time in the public eye, and she takes an interest in the Russians, but nothing else. That officer the whore claimed insulted her. What do we know about him? He is harmless. The officer in question is, how should I say this? He is very serious about questions of the heart. What does she do when she's not on stage? Most of the time, she's with the publisher, Lenoir. He's considered a patriot. Nice cover for a spy. Put our best people on it. And the Russian? The hell with him. Here, in these files, are the crimes that Matahari committed against France. This blue file contains all the documents she stole. The white file lists the agents she recruited. And the red file, it lists those who died all over Europe because of that spying whore. And this black file contains all our evidence against her. Fill up the black file, Mateen. Oh my gosh, he's among the guests wearing the men's suit. Who? Ah, the dream of yours. I'm tired of your jokes, Nevich. Oh, indeed, in pants, those Europeans. Why did they teach our whatever something bad? Well, it will be unacceptable. Who is this officer? Vladimir Maslov. Vladimir. nothing but rifles. I've seen French soldiers. They have huge backpacks and other things. Yes, our men are poorly equipped, but we hoped our French allies will help with supplies. For example, Monsieur Schneider has promised to dedicate one of his factories for making helmets with the Russian emblem. I would just like to see the letters of collateral. Zar sent our best soldiers to France, the most decorated men. Bonjour. Come on.
Your Excellency, the demonstration is over. I'm requesting your permission to take the battalion back to the barracks. Permission granted, Captain. But first, would anyone like to challenge Captain Maslov's mastery? I do. <laughs> Cannot handle weapons. But horses. I can handle them very well. to me you fell on purpose. I thought it was a stunt. You seem to be perfectly fine, so please excuse me, madam. Manners, Captain. Remember, we are guests. My apologies. Madam. She's said to be an excellent writer. She was a teacher at a writing school, owned by a man named Moliere. And he, this man died. Under mysterious circumstances. I suspect her, but that's not our concern now. She has her eye on this captain. And I want to know for what? For fun. She likes officers. Perhaps she means to seduce and recruit them. Maybe. She's very careful. Just as we need to be very careful because of her powerful patrons. I made another request to arrest her on suspicion of espionage. Again, they turned me down. A shame, but if she likes this Russian, Maybe we can use him to get to her. Perhaps. What's his name? Vladimir Maslov. I believe that I've heard this name. It sounds familiar. It doesn't matter. We might have a better way to get rid of her. A decree is issued to shut down the criminal underworld of Paris. Brothels, underground casinos. France is facing very hard times, and there's no place for these dirty bastards. Do you know Michelle Riva? Yes. She's the owner of a special establishment in the southern quarter of Paris. I want you to meet her and make her an offer. Do you understand? Maybe a shocking one. Monsieur Lenoir? I don't even know. Don't I cross la liberté? Is it shocking enough? Uh, develop the film, Renee. It's enough for today, I think. Madam, you are just fabulous. May I? So, you'll tell Frau Doctor the following. Russian supplies are dwindling. Soldiers will be provided only with the bare necessities. Helmets, coats, etc. They are not resupplying artillery or mortars. The Russian positions at the front can be considered the weakest points, but they should not discount the bravery and skills of Russian soldiers, who will fight regardless of their weakened positions. Is this information accurate? I'm always. Accurate. But you've just almost messed up my face. <laughs> I would kill you if I didn't need you. I pay a high price for my freedom to let the like of you threaten it. I understand. Margaret? I'm here. I bumped into an old friend. She has a place, um, 
Well, where people come to have fun. Hmm. A dam where the rich slackers huh. and the cowards gather? Well, perhaps, but uh, there's profit to be made in it. And she is offering, well, quite a bit of money. Is she? Hmm. And only one dance. And there's a roulette. Gabriel, you know how much I miss casinos. I know. When will I have to perform? Uh, she's not sure yet. In a few days. What's her name again? Michelle Riva. Yeah, I noticed when the epistle was being read, you seemed distracted. Is everything okay with you? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Not just today, for a while now. It's the wedding. I've been giving it a lot of thought. As you should. You're entering a new and life-changing, amazing part of your life. It is such a big decision to connect your life to another person. Are you having doubts? Yeah. Wait, here they come now. Go to them. We'll talk later. Me too. How was the journey? The sea was threatening. They say Germans can blow up ships from underwater. Then we took a train and came straight to you. Piotr Alexievich. Hello, Volodya. Hello, son. Good morning. Hello, Father. Alexander. Father Alexander. Yes. Since you're here, perhaps you could marry them right now. Well, if that's what they want, I would be happy to. I think that sounds wonderful. And you, Volodya? At once, if we can. It's a very nice church. <laughs> <laughs> of course you're in a hurry. You're young people. But I've invited many guests, Vera. So the wedding must be held at the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral in Pozhiva. No, Father, it's called Bozhival. It doesn't matter how you pronounce it. The church is beautiful. And in three days' time, you will have a beautiful ceremony. Of course, you're invited, Nikolai Alexandrovich. Thank you. And you too, Father. Thank you. <laughs> Very good, very good. They're starting a new life together. Aren't they a lovely couple? It's like they are meant for each other. Yes, yes, they are. <laughs> Come in. It's late. I hope you have something interesting. Badahari is going to Reva's place to perform. Good. She hasn't given me a chance to find evidence to put into this black folder. The worst for her. She could have had a life. You are personally in charge for the results of the raid. If Estruk is there, do I arrest him as well? He could possibly turn on her. He might offer him a deal. I'll give it a try, Captain. I hope soon the city will be grieving for the death of the beautiful Matahari. You're under arrest! You're under arrest! 
Yes! Everyone, get outside! Now! Move, move, move! Get outside! Now! This way! Get going! Stop it! Stop it! Everyone, everyone, out! Yes, we're going! Get moving, now! You too! There's been a misunderstanding. We're guests here. Gabriel. You two, stop talking and get in the car. Yeah, you'll regret this, you know. This is the famous Matahari. I can't believe Matahari in this den of iniquity. Stop! Oh! What are you looking at? Oh Keep God. moving. Go! You are going to Van Song along with the others. I'll have you sent to the front lines. What's your name? Every Matin, madame. No luck. No luck. Sure a sure stroke you can leave. Not without her. I'm sorry. Gabriel. If he wants to stay with her, let him. You and your friends may go. Thank you, monsieur. They all think they're going to the Chateau de Vincent. Yes, sir. It will be done immediately. Get them down and take them to the pit. But can anyone tell me what's going on? No. Keep moving. Who gave this order? Do you know? No. And I wouldn't advise you to ask. No. No. <laughs> Stay near me. Stay with 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 me. St